Welcome to Bible at the Bay. Here we are in Honesdale, Pennsylvania with our special guest, Rabbi Dr. Jeffrey Cobrin, head of school at North Shore Hebrew Academy in Great Neck, New York. It's great to have you here. It's great to be here. Here we are in chapter six of the Book of Kings and we have the description of the construction of the temple of the Beit HaMikdash. It took seven years to complete and the chapter gives us lots of details about the architecture, the, the Kruvin, the Trubim. I want to kind of take a step back before we look at the details and just think about the conception of now building something and transitioning to something rooted, right? The Israelites for centuries relied on a model that was a mobile model the Mishkan, the tabernacle. And even if the tabernacle, um, the Mishkan stayed in a place for a long time, it was designed so that at any moment, if they wanted to kind of get up and move, they were able to move. And now we're moving to a structure that is, it's heavy, it's wood, it's stone, it's permanent. And that kind of gives us a different conception of what it means um, to access God. And so what, what can we say about that transition from right, the transient model to a more rooted model in terms of uh, you know, in terms of the Israelites' ways that they would then access God. I think in some ways this had to feel for the Jewish people like they had finally grown up. Like there was this DIY kind of, hey, let's put on a tabernacle, you know, let's, let's, let's get a tabernacle together and we'll serve God and we'll bring all the, the sacrifices, the korban out. And it was much more rough and ready and it was portable and they had poles that they would take all the things around with them, even though it didn't move for many, many years, it still had those portable uh, uh, symbols associated with it. Now, we finally made it. We're here, we're not going anywhere, we're setting up shop, we're putting down roots, we're building a big building that is not gonna move. So that has to feel a little bittersweet, I would imagine, for the people. The sweetness is, look, we finally made it. We have a king who's super duper amazing and brilliant and rich and everything like that, and he's rooting us here and his first act politically is to build not a house for himself, but one for God, and that's a big deal. Um, but you're also trading off that kind of scrappy, yeah, the hands we're in the on. desert, we did it together, and that, that's, that's, the, that's the bitter. Yeah, I think there's a lot to think about in terms of our own establishing structure centers, communities, to what Definitely. extent do we keep that balance between the perfect model and the ability to be kind of free and, and have our input um, and fingerprints on a project. We'll see what happens next. Great, thank you.